Hey guys, I'm Alex, and I just want to take a quick second to show you how easy it is to import your 3D OBJ models directly into your After Effects scene. I've seen a lot of tutorials online that are just way too hard, way too complicated. They have a bazillion steps, and I just want to show you how easy it really is. Uh, we have a three-step process here, and it is dang simple. It is really simple, and I'm going to take you through these easy steps. So right here, we have our 3D model um, with textures and ray trace reflections and shadows that all look really good and if I take my camera tool I can move around in the After Effects scene and right inside of After Effects I have my 3D model it looks pretty awesome so in 3D or in, in just in the video editor world you need to be able to provide 3D for your clients because that's there they want it that everyone wants 3d nowadays and that's not going away so here's a really easy way to take outside models and just put them right into your after effects scene and then do some color correction and add some other stuff into it to make your scene look awesome so let's go into our new comp and let's let me show you how this is all done all right so we'll go into our new comp and the first step is to create a solid that is the same size as your comp scene that's the first step. All right, we have three. So we now have second step to come to Effect, Zach's Works, and apply your Pro Animator layer. And the third step is to import your 3D object. Now we'll click on our model. I'll have carmodel.obj, and I'll click on Import, and that's it. That's all there was to it. We now have our 3D model directly in our After Effects scene. Cool. So now that we have that here, let's create a new camera just so we can roam around the scene. Do that by going up to layer, new, camera. Okay, turn to draft mode and select this and click on use comp camera. Now we can use our camera tool, clicking C on the keyboard a couple times to switch on different camera tools. Zoom in here and we can see our object in real time um, which looks already looks pretty awesome. However, there are not any materials on it, right? It looks a little bland, but it is an object in your 3D scene. So let's go into our Pro Animator wi UI window and apply some materials. We'll do that by clicking on this button right here. All right, great. So now that we're in our Pro Animator setup window, let's go into our camera view and go over to user camera one. Just click on front zoom way in and now we can see in our object list that we have a ton of different objects that make up this car there's just a ton of different bolts and screws and seats and steering wheels and all that stuff and there are almost two million polygons in this object it's a huge file and it's all working really quickly inside your After Effects scene so let's deselect by just clicking on the outside area and then we can look at our materials over here. I have some preset materials, and we can just drag and drop them directly onto our car. Um, I don't, I'm not going to do all of them because it's going to take too long, but you can see how easy it really is just to get some windshield. You, know, you can see through the car now. You can see the steering wheel and the seats, and we can put it on the headlights. And we can put it on, we can put some blue onto this part of the car, and put some black some some here here the uh, wheels and maybe some black back here for the uh, side of the car make it a little a little more reflective and how about some black for the tire all right that is looking pretty good so far So that's all I'm going to do for this. Now we're going to click on OK, and we're going to go back into the After Effects scene. I'm going to show you how all of our work just got carried right over, and we are still inside of After Effects. Remember that. So now we can move around in our After Effects scene and look at our 3D object and make our clients super happy. All right, that's it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys next time.